Hello. Hi. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Hi, Claire. <laughs> Hi, Julie. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Fabulous. So just give me a minute. This is only the first ever live session I'm hosting. So it's very exciting. I'm just looking out to see um, when Abigail joins us. Hi, sir. Oh, it's exciting. Lots of people are joining us. Hi, Sylvana. Hi, Sally. <laughs> Yay, Abigail's just joined. Let's see. Hello. Fabulous. Exciting. How are you? You good? good? I'm good. I'm I'm warm. It's boiling. <laughs> I know. I'm literally beating up. Woo. I know. I have a fan going here. I'm just like, keep working, keep working. I'm boiling. <laughs> when I was thinking about my outfit, I was like, what can I wear? Because I literally can't even bear to have clothes on me right now. So <laughs> I've gone for off the shoulder. So I must admit, you, there was just a close-up of you literally here. And I'm like, has she got clothes on? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to working on my decollete. So, okay. Yes, it's all exposed. Oh, uh, I'm so glad you're here. Let's see. Okay, people are joining. Hi, Rainy. Hey. Fab. I don't know how I felt about, like, you know, no makeup. I did my brows and I put on lipstick, but I thought I'd keep my face bare so that yeah, well I'm done. ready for this. Well, I must admit, I have to draw my <laughs> brows on now. They just, they're just not there anymore. So yeah, I'm exactly the same as you and a little bit of lip gloss as well. Exactly, I have no brows, so they're absolutely, and they're a mess too. So I'm pleased when the salons can reopen. Um, we can't, so salon, beauty salons, we can't reopen in July yet. Yes, I know that, I saw that. So do you, ha have they given you any stare on when we can go back for facial? No, not yet. I mean, obviously hair salons are back. Uh, which um, I'm kind of embracing the threads of silver now, to be honest. Yes. Um, but no, <laughs> beauty salons, we, we don't know. It's still kind of like wait and see. But yeah. I admit, I, I had no plans to reopen in July anyway. I just figure because it's such a hands-on close treatment, it's going to be impossible to get back and do it properly you know so uh i'm just kind of sat still sat back i'm gonna wait and see how things unfold with regards to being being able to be back in treatment but still doing the online skin consultations and right that business yeah and are, are you doing any of those home facials that i've seen people sending off to their clients <laughs> well so with the the home facial thing a lot of people are following my face massage tutorials yeah and some of them will book in for a consultation so then it's a really personalized consultation. And if there's particular products that, you know, we feel would be helpful for them, then they're, they're going, yeah, great. So then we kind of ship off products to them. So, but I'm, there's a few things I'm looking at maybe over the next month to bring more of a, an at-home facial. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. Because cause we, we can't last. I'm overdue a facial. I yeah. feel facials like an MOT. I use great skincare and everything, but it's important to get in front of someone to check, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, what you can do in a facial, as much as we can look after our skin at home, what you can do yeah. in a facial is... Absolutely. It's, it's just on a different level. And that's not just me selling what I do. It, it, just, it just is. With the it's, technology it's, it's, and the and... Yeah. You're preaching to the converted. I'm, I'm on your page. <laughs> <laughs> it is. That's what we're doing. Okay. So I think we have a few people here. And I'm just conscious that yeah. there's a lot I want us to get through. There have been lots of questions okay. that have come through. Um, let me just start. Hello, everyone who's joined us. I've seen lots of my friends oh. coming in, which is really lovely. Um, I just I have a bit of paper here because I think I should introduce you properly to people. Um, I know that you're very well known. Um, so bear with me. 
Um, so Abigail really is a bit of a skin miracle worker. And I'm reading from my notes because it's really extensive and I don't want to miss anything out. So she's been dubbed the queen of skincare by Forbes magazine and is a facialist to stars like Cher and Arizona Muse. So you guys know what Cher looks like, right? So you, you want some of her magic. Um, she's been at the forefront of the beauty industry for over 20 years, giving really expert advice and is globally recognized for her extensive knowledge and her legendary facial massages. Um, and your facials, I've read testimonials, including one that came in after I sent out the emails that your facials are really just fantastic, among some of the best in London. Um, so what I particularly like, I've been following you for the longest time. I've watched lots of your YouTube videos. But what I especially like is your holistic 360 approach to skin health, where you really focus on balance and well-being, um, recognizing that, yes, products are good, the technology is good, but it's really about those good lifestyle choices that you make, what we're eating, the amount of stress we're exposing ourselves to, and even also like the added dose of realism, your genetics, right, which impacts how your skin, um, what skin treatments you need. Anyway, um, in addition to that, you're also an influencer. You have a following of about 150,000 people. Um, and I stop you. My kids find that hilarious. Tell me. The, well, the fact that uh, I think I passed 100,000 on YouTube uh, earlier this year, and my 14-year-old was like, OMG, mum, you, you are like a proper influencer. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to tell my friend, up until that point, you know, it's not cool to mention mum, but suddenly it's like, I can mention you to my friends. Um, yeah. That's cool. You've got some real cool creds. But yes, <laughs> I was just going to add one last thing is we're going to get through a lot, but Instagram only lets us have an hour. And so I would say that actually a lot of the questions will go over. You've already done a video about. So go and find Abigail's YouTube channel and go through her videos. They're extensive. Yeah, she's done lots. I've also um, got a book. Yes, and I, 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 how could I not have mentioned that, of course? And um, <laughs> there is a book which I think really wraps up skincare advice completely, right? It's called Love Skin, and it's the ultimate guide to a glowing complexion. And you tell us what's in it. <laughs> uh, well, there's everything about uh, your genetics, uh, lifestyle, mm -hmm. how to deal with stress. So throughout the book, I'm kind of saying, look, these things impact on the skin. And instead of just going and stress makes the skin worse. Yep. I'm going, okay, well, this is what stress is physically doing. And here are some remedies that can help with the stress. I always like to go, okay, this, this is the problem, but give you a bit of a holding hand to help you support that problem. Uh, skin through the ages. I talk about treatments, ingredients, skin issues. Um, so it's, it's a, and I wanted it to be pictorial so there's beautiful photography to it as well so a lot of people say it's their by the toilet book uh, you know, they can pick it up dip into a, a chapter and feel like they've learned Bam. something well it's, i'm going to get it where should we get it from i know there's amazon yeah, but which independent one do you get amazon's good yeah amazon good, good, you know, good. Sure they always kind of discount your book slightly so you'll probably get a good deal on amazon at the moment <laughs> fab fab all right then but i'm really pleased you're here um we have a lot i'm really excited about all the things that we're going to cover um and i just thought look let's start we kind of touched on it but how are you doing you know we talked about how covid has happened a lot has happened this year and yeah. it's affected how we live how are you coping <laughs> so so it, it's been bonkers this year i think also last you know last year was getting bonkers and then this year is like a new level of bonkers that, that we're all kind of experiencing on so many levels um so i must admit i'm always honest about my emotions and, and things yeah. and i'm the the first kind of couple of months or month i'm gonna say of lockdown you know i had to close my clinic doors yeah. and it was such a change to life that I'd, I'd have good days and I'd have bad days. And some days I, I'd kind of just think, I just need to put myself back to bed. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. But then you kind of pick yourself up and, um, but you know, touch wood at the yes. moment. Um, I, it, I'm, we're good, you know, family is safe and well and just adjusting to the new norm. But I, I don't know how you feel, but some days I just wake up and go, 
what <laughs> you know what you 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 put in fact i think i did an igtv video after i finished my workout on a sunday and thought what can i talk about actually my energy i feel like energy has been the theme of yeah. the last few months where i've gone through phases and i've talked about all the different phases but i think you talked about waking up and i have these i have a morning mantra right it started first with i don't know what to do this is all a bit weird yeah. and then i can't remember what i was watching but someone said okay i'm just going to go with the flow and then that became my morning affirmation i'm going with the flow today i'm not going to stress too much and yeah. then i think i entered into my grow with the flow stage i feel like i've recovered and i was like okay <laughs> i'm ready to start moving positively so it it's been it's been it's been mad but i think someone summarized it well it's it's complicated <laughs> it's a good yes, short answer it is very well i must admit i don't think we've seen the worst of it and i I'm, you know not being doom and gloom i think yeah. so i i think going into autumn when we haven't got the sunshine and if we do get that second spike so i, I, I think I really self care emotionally and physically i think is going to become even more poignant I, I really do um so you know hey i'm yeah i'm hoping that it all kind of unfolds naturally but i you know i think my gut no but but that's good and i like that you go on that note of self self-care because we can really segue into why we're here for me what was most exciting for me is i've watched face massage videos right you know you I've seen them, but there are, you know, you're watching a video and you almost have that moment. I really want to ask a question. I wish I could get the person on. So this is a great opportunity. But just before, tell me a little, I like stories. How did you get into this? Because I know you've been an advocate of face massages like way before it became popular and we could buy the tools everywhere. How did yeah, you well, I'm, I'm 45. So I have been doing this, you know, quite a few years now. Um, but I was actually, I was originally in the food industry. My family's business was food so okay. that's where my my interest in the health and the internal came from you know grandparents had bees and yeah. you know vegetarian um and i i got married very young and had my first daughter who is now 21 wow. and had severe postnatal depression so i had to take some time out i needed to do something uh, I had a friend at the time who was a beauty therapist and she would come around and do treatments on me. And I just thought, I love what you do. So I took myself to night school. I was early twenties and learned beauty therapy over a number of years. And then, you know, you get your qualification and you, I was going, I still know nothing compared to what I want to know. So kept learning different skills, yeah. um, adding, and I just got passionate about skincare okay and how we can treat the face so if i could find a face massage course a random whatever it might be i'd book on it um whether it was facial reflexology or there's a, a load of quirky ones i can't even remember the names of okay. um, so and that's kind of where it, it grew i trained in sports massage so working with the muscles of the body and connective yes. tissue and i think that gives you a different way of maybe looking at the muscles and connective tissue of the face as well yeah. um and that it, it kept going and then you know not just the face massage but the technology and the peels and and that side of things with skin treatments as well so yes i mean when i started looking into it it's a whole mind fill there's a lot there's a lot of science actually behind it around how yeah. the connectivity of the tissues and some of the things you'll talk about are circulation but um i'm also <laughs> I'm also curious. Someone here is someone here is like talking about your your face your facials and how fantastic they are. So there's, that you have some cheerleaders in the audience. <laughs> um, but I was just going to say, um, so it's really interesting with the facials. So I know when I'm feeling, especially after I've had a short night and I wake up and I feel a little bit puffy, that when I massage my face, I feel better. But it would be helpful for you to just very quickly, I mean, we don't want to go too deep into the science, but talk through some of the physiology behind why actually those facial massages are so good for us. Okay. So um, I, I always give an example of obviously the face is made up of muscles. Um, if you imagine a muscle, I'm going to elbow to joint. Yeah. We've got a few muscles 
that go from here to here. Yep. The face has, has got loads and loads of different tiny little muscles and they're not always connected bone to bone. They're connected and sitting on top of each other. And that makes us, I'm very expressive in my face. It's just how I am. As am I. <laughs> but yeah, that, it, that's what gives us our facial expression. If we think of how tense our muscles on our body can get, uh, we've got to translate some of that into what's going on in, in our face. We yep. hold tension in our face. It, often, I know a number of people, when we tense, you know, you can almost see the jaw muscle going, you know. Yep. So doing massage is impacting on um, the muscles. It's going to relax them. It's going to ease that tension. It's going to soften the appearance of the face as a whole. Okay. Yep. The, we've obviously got the connective tissue that goes on with that. So each muscle, yeah. if, you, if you imagine a chicken breast, yeah, that's a. You know, I think well, we get that. We get. Yep. Yeah. You've also, you've got connective tissue at the end, which is then attaching that muscle uh -huh. to other things. So it's not just the solid muscle; it's the the connective tissue as well. Um, the lymphatic system. If we're puffy, yeah. um, we're, we're helping with that removal of fluid and buildup of toxins, fundamentally. Um, uh, we've so, got the impact on the emotions that, you know. Exactly. So that's the bit that instinctively, when I do, I can feel that benefit, right? Because I can tell that I immediately feel better. And then also the depuffing, you know, when I start touching my face, I can see that I start to release the circulation again. I was yeah. interested by the toxins. That's interesting too, right? Yeah, exactly. Because what, what implication does, I guess, what does that cause? What does that flare up on the skin? So if I reverse it. Okay, so uh, I actually trained in body lymphatic drainage. It's yeah. quite a technical method of lymphatic drainage. Um, the buildup of toxins, it sounds, oh my goodness, it's really bad, but whatever process is happening in the body there is always a byproduct okay so with that as the body's doing all of its functions the lymphatic system is the part it's fluid and we've got lymph nodes that the lymph nodes process the toxins and yeah. the fluid the lymph is where the toxins are kind of passed through the lymph go to the lymph nodes where it's yeah. to, you know dealt, dealt with and out it goes so if we've got a lymphatic system that is overloaded with toxins, yeah. of alcohol, you know, other, other bits and pieces, pollution, um, it's going to mean that the whole body isn't going to be as on I the got board. It. I got it. I got yeah? it. Yeah. Um, I mean, the body is one big machine and it's all connected. So even that it's question is a little details. bit difficult yeah. to answer because it's, when so there's it's, bad it, stuff, it flares up, right? Yeah. So, and where are the... Sorry. So hold on, hold on, wait a minute. So it can cause puffiness. That's yeah. one thing with the lymphatic system. But the other thing, it can cause dullness yeah. because the tissues and everything, they're not being able to be fed with the right kind of healthy ingredients. It's all just a bit overloaded with toxins. But yes, we have uh, lots of lymph nodes all over the body, but we have a huge accumulation of them yeah. in the neck. Um, yeah. Basically, um, right. with regards to the face, I, I always, if you kind of imagine lying on your back and pouring water on the face, uh -huh. that is the direction that the lymph roughly flows in. Yeah. Are you okay for hearing me? Sorry, I'm right next to a skull, so you may be hearing children I can hear screaming you. in the background. No, no, okay. not yet. Okay. Not yet. Yes. Oh, fab, fab, fab. So that's helpful. Then I think you started this, right? So we're talking about the neck. I've heard you, I'm trying to see what question I have here. So let's actually get into this because I think this is probably the bit people are more excited about. Okay. So with face mas massages techniques, I've heard about carping, depuffing, rolling. <laughs> Can you just talk us through those and when they yeah. apply and what they do? Okay. So um, let me think, let me think. So let's start with pinching. Yeah. yeah. Pinching is a good one for stimulating blood flow. It's, it's, it can be a little bit detoxing, but I find oh. instead of pinching with that, if you bend, if you almost make a fist, mm -hmm. yeah, and then you're pinching with your thumb and the inside knuckle, yeah? Guys, 
go, go with us, <laughs> okay? And what should this do? I'll do it from the side as well. God, I have so much skin on my face. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna give you a tip here. So make your pinch a little bit smaller so there's less pull out and it's, it's like a quick nip. Yes, there we go. Oh, wow, okay. And what does this one do? This, I mean, you'll probably see on my face, it stimulates blood flow. So I find if you just want to wake the face up slightly, yeah. I always come up nice and rote. You'll already see that on my cheeks, you know, yeah, the blood yeah. flow. Yeah, it'll, it'll take a bit longer for me. <laughs> I don't think we want to get there. <laughs> so that's a nice kind of pinching move that you can do. Yeah. You can use knuckles. Okay. Um, so you can either use what I call sta static knuckles. So you place your knuckles on and you're not gliding on the skin. So you're moving the tissue around. And yeah. as you're doing this, I have a question because it's one that, how much pressure do you put when you're doing this? Because I've seen two schools of thought. So people are like really be gentle with your face. Some are like, get in there. Yeah. You know? So the skin is an amazing organ. You're not going to suddenly cause overstretching and your face is yeah. going to off. We need to get into the muscles. So right. with that, you do need an amount of pressure, okay? Mm -hmm. I have very elastic skin. I not, you know, you can literally pull it off in loads of places. I've got very elastic skin. Yeah. So I think some of my massage probably looks firmer than it actually is just because my skin is very elastic, okay? Mm. But it shouldn't hurt, but you can press in. I'm gonna tell you to change the direction. Ah, okay. There we go. So it's more of an up and out. Right. But and if, now you, I'm then, not... if this... you then had an oil on your skin, Which... yep. You can then glide with it. So, so that's a different yeah. type of whoop, whoop. massage. Yeah. Where'd she go? There you're back. I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> Just had a small accident. Okay, oh. so I'm gonna get some A game on my hands because I can okay. do it with this. And I'm just gonna get some on my knuckles too. So yeah, it's good to put it all, you know, front and back. Yep. So those are the static ones, and then you can take them more so it glides. And with right. that, oh, do wow. this is so relaxing. I hope you guys are doing this along with us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the kneading method. Yeah, that's an, a kneading or a knuckling. And yep. Do these techniques, you know, do they actually do anything different to each other? It's a preference thing. You'll feel more comfortable. For example, this feels more comfortable or natural to me than the pinching. And how do we do that again? It's like okay, so we're using, make a fist and then yes. thumb and... Right. I automatically pout when I do that. I, I, I pout all the time in front of the camera. <laughs> I see a camera and I... <laughs> you can't smile and do it properly because it tightens muscles. That is true. Yeah. Um, <laughs> What else can I show you? So the same that we did with the knuckles, yeah. you can obviously do with fingers. You can do static mm -hmm. or you can then with oil make it glide. But and what was the reason you told me to change direction? Tell me again. So I want a little bit more of the up and out rather than up and forwards. Yeah. Right. It's just where the focus is with the direction. Right. I don't want to be squishing too much forwards. Right. So it's really good. That... <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Okay. You'll find that I love doing face massage in the morning. I know a lot of people, they might want to leave it until the evening. Hmm. I find I wake up now with creases, you know, from sleep creases. And I just find, A, it makes my face feel more alive yeah but you then kind of go oh i'm i'm back i'm you know i've rebuilt my face um, yes. no but instinctively i mean i know when i do it i'm sure i'm not getting the technique right but i just feel better and i look more glowy i mean but it's pushing blood to the face which has to be a good thing also in yeah, that respect fresh right smoke is fresh nutrients to to the skin the muscles the tissue yeah. everything so that's actually where i'm not saying it's 
anti-aging, but because we're stimulating that blood flow, it's a natural way of helping the skin function at, at its best. And someone's just asked, do you recommend massaging every day? I do. Yes? Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I think, so personally, if I could, you know, I would add it to my routine because I think it's two minutes. It's great, but it's also you doing something really nice for yourself. And I think it's worth the time, right? Absolutely. So another nice one that you can do yeah. is if you take full hands, you can go up like that, but I like focusing on one side so you can go. Oh yeah, I saw that in your video. I tried it, I couldn't. <laughs> like that. Mm -hmm. And it's, if you kind of put your, the heel of your hand underneath your cheekbone, you can rock it backwards and forwards. Oh. The cheekbone. Oh, this is so yeah. good. I'm going to be saving this on our IGTV. So don't worry if you're not getting it all. Um, <laughs> okay. So those are all, I suppose, lifting, rejuvenating. Right. You can repeat those kind of things on the forehead. Mm -hmm. um, I want to show you the difference of the, the active to more drainage. Right. They're really oh. quite different. So the drainage, if you literally just softly place your hands on your face, okay. the, the gentlest of touch. If you kind of tack on with your, I call them the pads of your fingers, mm -hmm. and just very gently drag it downwards. So we're going that down. So, I find the best yeah. move. What does that do? I have such an elastic. You thought you have. I have such an elastic face. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so if you drag it down and then you almost let go, so it's not an up and down move. This is actually because uh -huh. we're just almost encouraging it down. And, and what is it doing? It's draining lymph. But you right. have to be, I was, when I did my training many years ago, the, the level of pressure, if you imagine balancing a 50p piece on your finger mm -hmm. that's the lightness of pressure that you need when you're pressing on the face right it's super 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 gentle interesting and is this what gets i mean is this where i need to be to depuff my eyes it is <laughs> i see so you can take it closer to the eyes whether it's one finger or two fingers whatever works for you but you can just drain sides I, for me, I like two fingers, actually. Which two are you using? Okay, I see that. Yeah, yeah. So I start really gentle, that. right? Really, that like skin is so I mean, it's yeah. just ridiculous. Okay. But then it's also good to them when you've done some drainage kind yeah. of it, that you come down to the neck. Yeah. And then, because the idea is that we're draining and yeah. then continuing that fluid drainage. Right, right. Into... So you start here and then you're going here. And yeah. You're coming down. You're kind of following. You're, you're almost sending it where you want it to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what we're doing. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, good, good. Okay. Interesting. That is so interesting. And when you're doing this, so before I have two things that are top of my mind. Yeah. Are there any places not to touch? So obviously I know we already talked about beyond the eye, right? But are there, I think I've seen in a video where you talk about the neck and you're like, avoid here completely. Why's that? So within a facial, with right. a client, I would avoid this area. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I have to take a break. <laughs> uh, I would avoid this area with a client in a facial, but actually yeah. yourself at home, yeah. you can gently come down on this bit and actually this area is yeah. an area that often gets yeah, a little yeah. bit uh it's what should we be quite... doing here so thumbs underneath uh-huh and i'm pushing them so it's that kind of movement yeah right and i find like if you squish your tongue mm -hmm. on the roof of your mouth mm -hmm you'll feel that bit tighten. Mm, I can. Mm -hmm. So you can tailor that slightly. Mm. So, so there isn't necessarily... Right, so the only things I would be cautious of, yeah. if you have sensitive rosacea skin, 
then it's the drainage massage that you need to be doing. Okay. If you have active acne, you know, right. pustular, then again, it would be drainage. And I'd just be cautious of what you and might- And drainage is the light. Yeah, really light. Really drain. light, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't want to be- Clean hands drain. always, guys. <laughs> clean hands, clean hands. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. And what are, so what are the, let's now talk, aging right there are certain places where we're more likely to age quickly right around my crow's feet around my laughter lines and yeah. my mouth so are there any special techniques to get yeah. those areas so there's to be honest i use similar moves on the eye area yeah. to the sides as i do around the the mouth so it's a very simple let me just blot my sweaty top lip <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're doing so well <laughs> Uh, so one finger, and it's pulling apart. Oh. Um, I do it quite quick. Oh my God, this feels like I'm getting the threading. It feels like the action that happens. It kind of is the action. Do you know, I'm trained in threading as well. I used to do that years ago. Um, okay. So that's a nice one for a cross top okay, lip. Okay. And you can make it quite small and focused. It doesn't have to be a big... And the fingers crisscross. I mean, that's the what I'm seeing I you do. I think actually, you know, one is above the other maybe. And sometimes yeah. they're... And then I would do exactly the same on crow's feet. Mm, yeah. That's so good. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. To even up slightly. Oh, where are the other areas that we want to watch out for, right? So we've done that, we've done... Yeah, yeah. we also need the forehead. I get a lot of comments about what can I do with frown oh, lines. Those are so um, annoying. So actually, so we're going to do the opposite to that. Mm -hmm. We're now going to push it together. Oh. So you're squishing the tissue in between. This look, muscle, there's look, one look how much skin there is. I mean, it's ridiculous. This is um, so this is one big flat muscle, the frontalis. Yeah, yeah. So this is good just for easing off that tension. Yeah. You can take yeah. those kind of moves upwards as well. Mm. Okay, so we did this, this, and then upwards. Pushing upwards. And I mean, if you want to take it back into the hairline, absolutely do. The muscles don't stop here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So take it back in. I know, I, I see the green jade comb hair massage things that are going around now. I think it's Hey You who have those. Yeah. So, yeah, and that's good. Okay, so that's fab. I think so far we've been working with our hands. I'm trying to go through my notes quickly. I think we've covered a lot of stuff. So I had up, down, circular. You never, only when you're kneading do you do the circular motion, right? Other I like the circular motion. For at-home massage, it's an easy one to do. So whether it's fingers, whether it's knuckles, they're yes. easy to do. Circles, that's kind of yes. the default. It's nice and easy. Got that. Um, and so let's talk tools. I went on Cult Beauty before this, and I think that list keeps growing <laughs> and how many tools there are out there. So there are rollers. I mean, which ones would you recommend and what are the benefits of the different ones? Okay, so I do particularly like, uh, I never pronounce it right. I, I keep getting told off. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, but I like that because you can get into the tissue. You yeah. can get in a reasonable amount of pressure with it. Yeah. The difference with the roller, the jade rollery kind of thing, yeah. I find you can't be quite as targeted yeah. with jade roller you know they are nice for under the eyes and you know but if i had to choose one mm -hmm. it would be a gusha yeah and and gusha guys i thought i would have mine unfortunately i think it's coming a bit later the guy from hey you very kindly actually offered to send me some um but it's the green jade gosh well i hope you guys know what it is google it it's g-u-a-s-h-a yeah. Gua sha. And it's what Asian, Chinese, but it's made with jade, which is really good for the skin because it's cooling also, right? Yeah. 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 Um, and so I've seen that. So there are jade. And then, so when would I want to add a tool to my routine if my hands work well? <laughs> yeah. So the difference with one of those you'll find is with your hands, you generate heat. 
Yeah. Um, with with something like that, whether it's a roller or gusha, uh, you'll find it's a little bit more cooling. Yeah. So they are nice to add in together. Um, yeah. So yeah, again, they're a bit more refreshing. It's just nice to add a different dimension into your at home face massage. Fab. So I'm just keeping an eye because I think Instagram kicks you out after an hour. So I want to look at the comments quickly because I've been so immersed in our conversation. See what questions, any tips for eye luggage? I think we've kind of talked about that. Yeah, Do you have any additional ones? Drainage kind of things. Yeah. It's not, if you've got a tiny bit of oil, it's nice, again, really gently. If you hold the skin on the inside yeah. and then drain outwards. Right. But re like really gentle. Good, good, good. And then I'd seen a question earlier asking about these face gym massages, massage machines. Someone asked about that. Do you know what that is? Yeah. So, what are your thoughts on the face gym machine? Okay. So I haven't tried the face gym machine. Being you totally, have or haven't? I, no, I haven't. So, and this is face gym, the brand, right? Is that what we're yeah. talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it would be wrong of me to comment on it when I, I haven't personally. That's fair enough. That's okay. Um, I think you should go and ask. Yeah, I won't be. Um, and then let me see. What else do we have? No, that's it for those. Okay, so Fab, you know what I have at home? And I like this for cooling. I don't know if anyone follows Tracy Ellie Ross, but she has these blue globes. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I just use them when I... A, they look cute, but they're really cooling on the skin. You put them in your refrigerator. Yes. Have you ever tried this? Yeah, I have. So the other thing, if you haven't got any gadgets like that, yeah. um, tablespoons, put them in the fridge. Oh, cool. Okay. Because again, you can just nicely glide cool over with the backs of tablespoons. That, if, that's, a neat, that's a neat one, especially a lot of our um, audience travel and, you know, it's a nightmare carrying things around. So it's an easy one to dip and get yeah. the ice. So I must admit, in. on some of my famous faces if they're just obviously they're no, no one's flying at the moment but when they were flying in and if they were a, an event or a, a it was something the next day yeah i i'd actually that is one of the things i would get them to use because they they'd be feeling puffy after the flight and then they're they're, they're in they're into makeup and everything so cold teaspoons or or you know whatever spoons is yeah or even the, just the towel i mean that was one i did all the time if you're on a flight they give you sometimes they give you those towels and you could just ask them to put some ice in it and then yeah nice. cool yourself down which is good yeah. um okay fab fab let me see what else do i have guys send in your questions um i have a long list so okay i think we've done a lot of this but if we were like a lot of when i look at my lifestyle it's quick right i'm always trying to optimize everything i do so that it's <laughs> quickly so what would be a good routine to sort of add to your daily i wake up i do my moisturizer to do daily and okay so before your moisturizer so if you've got an oil type cleanser you could use that whether it's a balm or a, an oil kind of cleanser so you can actually use that in the morning to give your face a, a quick massage with yeah you haven't cleanse then use your balm or your oil or whatever you're going to choose and I would, I'd be literally in the morning, I want to wake the face up. I'd be yeah. getting involved with some knuckles. I'd be doing some lifting. I always want to lift my brows. Oh, right. So That's I'm a like, good so... point because there, yes, exactly. I'm yeah. starting to feel a lot, a lot, a lot of elasticity loss on my face, which I don't like. <laughs> yeah, I, I, but, I, yeah. I, I think someone was telling me that there's a lack of celebrity selfies at the moment. And I think it's because everybody's not having their Botox. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good <laughs> they, they need to be trying this some of the face massage at home. <laughs> I yeah. wondered why. So yeah, that's that's a good, that's a good point. Okay, so that's helpful. So just I, I've just seen what you. I think you've taken us through enough that we can craft our own. Um. So is there a limit on how many times I should be doing a massage, right? So if you oh. add in, let's say a three to five minute on a daily basis, you can absolutely do that daily. Yeah, yeah, yeah no problem with that. If you're thinking, morning and night, <laughs> yeah, you could do. I must admit, I probably don't get round to doing it twice a day. It's a bit like going to the gym. I'm like, no, I've done that now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but sorry, my battery, my battery. Oh no, have we been cut off? Is about to go.
Um, so if you wanted to kind of sit and go, right, I'm going to do a 15 minute proper face massage and follow that through. Yeah. I don't do that at max twice a week. You don't need to do it any more than that. Yeah, so if I suddenly advice. disappear, it's because my battery's gone, okay? <laughs> right, right, right. But I think we're almost there. So I'm looking, I'm not seeing many more questions. Um, we've just gone through, I'm just running through my list. So we talked about drainage versus depuffing. Um, oh yeah, so rest of, rest of the buddy, because I've seen you on your Instagram do talk about buddy brushing. And yeah, I've got I my know. brush with me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I have this one from Hydrasia. Yeah, <laughs> I love good. that brand. I've got a few of theirs. That's yes. mine. Mine's got knobbly bits on, so it's it's, right. got, a, it's got a punch. And, to it. and it's the same thing, right? Can you show us with maybe your yeah. arms? So what I'd, your... Start, I'd start at the end, and you're yeah. working towards your heart. Okay. Um, yeah. So towards your heart. I got yes. it. I got it. Whether it's long or yeah. whether it's circular, but right. Again, with the legs, it's ankles. Actually, no, I lie. I'd go knees up. Yep. You've got to clear the drainage first, and then ankles to knees, then knees up. Does that make say, sense? Can you say that again? Yeah, okay. I'm going to suddenly Sorry. cut out, aren't I? Oh, no, I know. Oh, no. <laughs> so, we might would, have to do another I one. I would but... brush from the knees to the hip. Yeah. First off, then brush from the ankle to the knee. Okay and then knee to hip again. So with lymph, you have to move the stagnant lymph first. So I, I, I can see that. I can see yeah. that. So you're, you're almost making room first, then you're exactly. pushing up some more, and then you're taking it out. Then, so it's, 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 it's good, it's intuitive. That's interesting. Okay, so we'll look at that. And how often should you be doing body brushing? Daily, it's amazing. Absolutely. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, I use a flannel. Look, I'm African, so I really like wash my skin with a flannel and scrub every day. So yeah. I'm sure I do do some of the circulation through using those gloves. Um, but okay, so every day, guys, it's okay, do it. Um, and then, so we talked about your book, which is fantastic, and I'm going to get, and I would ask all of you to get, when's the best time to see a professional facialist? Well, so ideally, in an ideal world, it's that once every four to six weeks for yes. a facial. Um, I'd say from, unless you've got skin issues, it's usually about the age of 30 onwards that you might then start thinking, actually, I, I want to be doing something a little bit more regularly with facials. With all of my clients, I say that four to six weeks is the ideal don't let it go past three months. So that's... <laughs> you're you're going to have a lot of problems you're, when you reopen. I know. <laughs> yeah, gonna, we're way right past our three months now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, I hope, I hope that's soon. So where can we find you? Uh, and... Well, you can find me on Instagram. Um, I share lots of lifestyle bits and a few funny things and my dog as well. <laughs> yes, I <laughs> love, I love your dog. Yeah. I have Rainy is paying attention. So you remember the sausage dog you saw on my grid? It's Rainy's and she's on here. Rainy, wave at us. <laughs> ah. Yes, and she has one too. So okay, get amazing. very excited. <laughs> um, so yes, you can find me on YouTube as well for yep. tutorials and skin talk. Uh, you can find my website, abigailjames.com, where there's yep. a blog, uh, lots of well-being and things on, on the blog. You know, for example, if you're unsure about retinols, there's a blog post on there on retinols or... Yep. Uh, yeah. Um, and then when I'm in treatment, I'm in central London. Um, yeah. But hey, who knows when that, that's going to be. Yeah, but you have a website so we can keep up. You're updating it, right? So we can have a look there. And have you, you started taking bookings? Yeah, if you sign up to the newsletter. Yeah. Yeah. Have There's you started taking bookings? Because you must have a long lead, right? I guess you can't. You can't. Just... I, at the moment, no. I haven't reopened the bookings. It yeah. will go out on my newsletter first when I'm reopening, even before okay. mentioning anything on social. Um, but actually, if you sign up to the newsletter, there's a free cleansing guide that I've written that you can get for, for signing up as well. So Yes, 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 I already have it. So guys, do it. Um, fantastic. Um, look, I think we've had such a great session. I'm just looking through, I think we've covered a lot of the questions. And someone asked here really, I saw a question come through about the face. Oh, my hands are... Oh yeah, what about extractions? Are they out of fashion? It's interesting how, how things come in and out of vogue. Um, so 
a lot of facialists won't do extractions. And I actually think some of it is because they haven't necessarily got the confidence with their skills to extract properly, being honest. Um, we don't need to go over the top with extractions as well. I have some clients who come in and that's what they're coming in for. They, they want to- That is me, it. that is me. <laughs> yeah. so, I mean, if you came to me for a facial, I'm not gonna go, I'm sorry, I'm not extracting your face. Cause that's fundamentally one of your key points. But you know, I, there are other clients who, oh no, it's not for me. So it's a bit, I, it's very much individual to the therapist and also what the client wants. Sometimes extractions are needed, mm. um, but I also, there's a, some people, some therapists can go a bit heavy handed, uh, you know, and I've seen some repercussions yes. of a bit too scarring from heavy handed. So yeah, yeah. it's finding a real balance with that. Um, yeah. No, it's fantastic. Look, if we move on to skincare, we'll be here. We'll need another two hour session because there's a long <laughs> list of things. And Abigail's fantastic. I know retinol is something that comes up a lot. We haven't even talked about oils and serums and all of that fantastic stuff. Go to her YouTube video, follow her on Instagram. It's, she talks about all that stuff. Look, it's been an awesome session. Really, thank you <laughs> so it. much. I've been yeah. so talking to you. Um, and thank you. I see lots of waves and hellos yeah, and thumbs thank up. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining. All right. <laughs> Take care, I darling. Cool off. I know. Go and cool off now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, all enjoy right. the rest of your afternoon, everyone. Okay? Indeed, and lots of people have said, because all the professionals are working, and so we're going to save this down on IGTV, and so you'll get all the details. She's Abigail James. If you go on our grid, you'll see all her details, including her Instagram handle. So do that. Thank Take you. care. Thank you so much. <laughs>